Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about Viviscal and it has been one month since I have started my journey on Viviscal for Men. Anybody who doesn't know what Viviscal is, Viviscal for Men is a hair growth supplement which there is one for men and there is one for women. It has amazing ingredients inside which helps grow the healthiest possible head of hair. I'm just going to refer to the packaging, so let's just show you here. So this is Viviscal for men. So here this is my three month pack. Now I believe for men you can buy it in one, uh, you can buy it in a two week uh, pack, you can buy it in a one month pack, and then you can buy it in a three month, and I believe it goes six, don't quote me on this, I believe six, nine months, and then 12. And that is the supplements for which you can buy them in bulk, which it does work out a little bit cheaper. I have worked out that from the actual Viviscal site directly, it is cheaper to buy it from them. Um, but usually where I buy them from is either Boots here in the UK, um, which is where you, you would buy all your sort of cosmetic products, um, uh, hair care products for men, women, that type of thing. Lots of sort, of sort of personal products here. And the reason I say that is because quite often I get a few questions from uh, different people in the US. So that's kind of our sort of base of shop where you would go for buying personal products. Um, and that's where usually I've bought my Viviscal. Um, and if I haven't bought it in Boots, I have bought it in Holland and Barrett. And that is like a health food uh, store here in the UK. Um, so how what, what, what actually we were we were starting on was the effects of why you would want to take Viviscal. So, for example, if you are dealing with effects of your hair through hereditary loss, uh, stress, medication, poor nutrition, overstyling, bleaching, hair treatments and over dyeing. So I'm just going to refer to the packaging so I get this absolutely correct, because I want to give a really true, really transparent review for my one month mark in my journey of using Viviscal. So healthy hair growth starts from within. At Viviscal we understand hair. Statistics show that one in two men will experience thinning hair at some stage in their lives. The number of factors that can impact on our hair and growth. Okay so that was what we touched on there. So Viviscal Men Supplements is scientifically formulated for men with important nutrients of zinc, which helps to maintain normal healthy hair growth from within, combined with the exclusive marine protein complex Amino Mar C, Vitamin C and flax seed. Okay, so the recommended daily intake is take two tablets daily for a minimum of three to six months, one in the morning and one in the evening, taken with water after food. Therefore, after this, take one to two tablets daily as required. Viviscal tablets are easy to swallow. Okay, so that's the, that's the sort of pinpointed information about Viviscal. Let's get into now my experience. So Viviscal, why for, for starters, why did I start the Viviscal journey? Okay, so 2020 has been a bit of a rotten year, I have to admit, right from the start. So I had a fantastic Christmas and then bang, straight into January, I lost my Alaska Malimar, which was my best friend. And he was part of our family and the very heart and soul and losing him very, very suddenly was certainly very, very difficult. So actually it's been just over 12 weeks now since we've lost him and it still feels as raw as the day we lost him. Um, so that has really turned things upside down. Um, I'm also doing uh, some studying. I've also started a new job um, and I've also had a lot of health problems in the background starting 2020. So there's been a lot of things which has really sort of set me back, really got me back in. Um, set me back um, and has really caused me a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Um, and with this on top, things of course happen to your body. Stress, for example, things happen. Um, and very often our, ourselves, we don't handle stress very, very well. I know for a fact, me, I don't necessarily handle it very well at all. For example, my appetite with eating goes out the window. I don't really eat a lot when that happens. Um, my skin can, I can have all sorts of uh, problems, problematic skin when I get really quite stressed out. I lose quite a bit of weight. Um, and I get problems with my hair. Um, re I say recently, a number of years ago now, I believe in 20, I think it was 2015, I lost quite a lot of hair in the front due to stress. Um, and it did grow back with a choice of different products. Um, Viviscal being one of them, which I used and I used for seven months. Now, I can never say for certain that that was through the actual product or what whether that was just nature taking its course in my body sorting itself out. But I do like hair growth supplements and it is something which I've touched on and I've seen great success from them and Viviscal is probably the best in fact is the best which I've ever tried and it's certainly something I would recommend and I wanted to really capture this on my channel so it's been the first month mark so you may think I'm going to probably turn around and tell you it's amazing everything's grown back and it's incredible no because 
the Viviscal journey is in four stages. The first one being that when you take that intake of supplements. Now, let me just tell you that I may have started taking Viviscal and I started using that back in 2015. Used it for seven months. My hair was great. Never had any problems. Left it off. Just because you're starting a hair growth supplement like Viviscal does not mean that you have to take it for the rest of your life at all. There are no awful effects for if you stop taking the supplement like you then you're going to lose all the effects what's going to happen what it does is it gets yourself your scalp your body and your mindset into a much more healthier place so you can enjoy that better sort of quality of hair it might not necessarily grow you back all of your hair if you're starting it and you've got very very little hair but what i wanted to do is just capture my first one month mark from someone who has fine hair quite a lot of it but does have areas where we'd like to be a bit thicker or has concerns behind in the background as to speak now prevention is always better than cure so as soon as you start noticing problems with your hair it's better to get on top of it much much quicker whether you are a man or a woman because believe you me after lots of research online up until the point when you start noticing things are changing in your hair, for example, if you part your hair and it's showing a little bit more scalp, more scalp than what you'd like, or you're seeing more hair in the bath or the shower, what have you, time you started starting, um, starting noticing it, you have been getting that way for quite a while. And for you to notice, when you think about it, there has certainly been some quite extreme change, whether that be the volume of your hair, whether that be the texture or the amount you're actually seeing in the brush or in the bottom of the shower or in the bath when you shampoo your hair. And now for me, what I was starting to see throughout 2020 is when I was washing my hair, I'd have a lot more hair on my hand, quite like that I'd had the thinning shears pass through my hair and there was loads. And um, very often if I was shampooing my hair in the bath, sort of just sort of... Um, leaning your neck back in the water, I would have lots of hair. Um, and after running the water away, there would be hair in the bottom of the bath. Now, I don't mean handfuls of hair. I mean lots and lots and lots of single hairs, um, which was just not normal. Um, and then, for example, then styling my hair, there would be the hairs all on my hands um, and it just wasn't great it wasn't making me feel very good um i asked sort of comments in my family straight away it was no not a, you haven't got a problem at all you, you're fine not an issue it's just it's just you probably thinking about it too much or it could just be one of those phases in a couple of weeks it will sort itself out yeah absolutely i completely agree that could have happened absolutely and everything could go back to normal but having heard about viviscal online and always trying different products for thicker fuller hair because i do have fine textured hair and wanting to keep the best hair possible and the best scalp environment possible to grow the thickest head of hair. I like styling my hair. I love those sort of volumized styles in the 1950s, that pompadour look and those gelled slick back looks from the 1910s, 1920s. So I really want to keep my hair. It's part of me. People know me for good hair. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. So I started that. So from the first month, what have I noticed? OK, so I will be very honest. There has not been a great deal of change, but this is perfectly normal. So I say a, a month now. I started this on the 11th of March. And of course, what are we? We are the 17th of April. So we're nearly actually coming up to the five week mark. So I've been really, really busy with a new job, which is going amazing, I have to say. Um, so I've been a little bit tied up with that, but I am noting the effects of what's happening. What I would say when I first started it from the 11th of March, first maybe week, maybe two weeks, not a lot of change at all. In fact, probably things continue to go downhill. Um, but what I would say is just taking a tablet in the morning with breakfast and a tablet in the evening with your main meal or with water after you've shortly eaten is not a hardship of being able to fit into your day to day routine. It doesn't have an after horrible taste, it doesn't. And I say this because I do suffer with indigestion quite a lot and acid reflux. It doesn't repeat on me. It doesn't give me any problems like that at all. It just fits into your lifestyle, whatever lifestyle, perfectly fine. Um, just a sip of water and it's, it doesn't give you any uncomfortable sensation or anything like that at all. And then, of course, you fitted that in your routine. You can then hopefully in weeks and months to come, you can start to enjoy the benefits. So what are the benefits? So, of course, two weeks after this, what I would say is I did start to see very gradual, which I am seeing now, a very gradual reduction in the amount of hair which I see on my hands when I style my hair, in the comb when I comb my hair through, and certainly when I wash my hair. And I would probably say as much as about 50% reduction. Now, not every day is that the case. It's the same some days, but some days I'm seeing a lot less.
Now, of course, what you do have to take in context is that this could just be my body naturally sorting itself out. It could have just been a phase or a bit of a falling phase. And now my hair cycle has gone back into uh, the growing phase. Um, and of course, all those hairs which have just have gone dormant have fallen away from my scalp. But I thought personally it was a little bit more than that. We all know ourselves and how our hair relates to us and how our scalp acts. We know when we use a product that, for example, that those products agree with us and whether they don't. So, for example, you know what's normal for you. So without basing that on anything on YouTube or any clips you see online, you will know yourself and you will know whether or not you will like to try and benefit from using Viviscal. Viviscal is a highly regarded product all over uh, all over the web and you will see some amazing success stories and some not so good stories because at the end of the day no product works for everybody and it would be pathetic to be quite honest with you to say that it will work for 100% of people. We would expect that to work but come on let's be realistic. Sometimes one product we're all different we all have different issues one product is not going to be suitable for us all and these things take time for example like i said if you're noticing thinning in your hair when you've got to the point of you notice there's some thinning in your hair that would have taken you time so it will take time to come back of course the other way and see the effect of hair coming through now my problem areas are sort of just behind so not my hairline but behind my temples here i started to notice in where when I was washing my hair that would be the areas where the hair would come from and sort of not my crown in a little bit just sort of this middle bit uh, this middle area here in my hair I would find that if I'd massage my scalp or anything that would be the areas where the hair would come away um, and I just found that if I lifted my hair up or as I was drying my hair there was a few sort of gappy areas throughout the front not my hairline just behind so there was some areas where I wasn't happy with and I could tell that that was where the hair was falling from and it was becoming a little bit more uh, not sparse because I don't want to sort of bit of a slap in the face to people who are losing hair and of course I don't believe I am but things are certainly changing whether or not that's through stress whether or not that's just my body going through that stage or what have you but there were certainly some state uh, some problems which I wanted to jump in with and if you're noticing that then I would certainly recommend the Viviscal journey so stage one is all about is all about uh, really pumping that health into the follicles giving them all that rich ingredients in the actual supplements of Viviscal, that marine uh, protein sort of extract, that specialist ingredient, really getting that complex ingredient, ingredient into the hair follicles, into the stream, into the life cycle of the follicles, so they can start to bring that up and they can start then to bring that into their cycle of health and growth. So of course that's going to take some time. So the first stage, which Viviscal actually says, is that you start to notice the effect in your nails. I don't, because I'll be very honest, I always keep, like every other man, really, really short nails, um, so I haven't noticed anything there at all, um, but I have noticed about a 50%, sometimes a bit I don't notice so much more of a reduction of uh, the amount of hair I lose when I wash my hair through, but I am noticing that I am certainly seeing less hairs when I wash my hair, when I uh, style my hair, or in the bath or in the shower, what have you. Now, I would love this all to be positive, but of course there are also some down things in the observations when we try things. Now you may think, is there any? Now, I want this to be as transparent and as honest as possible. And you know what? There was one thing I wasn't particularly too happy about in the last four. And of course, we're coming up to five weeks now. What I have noticed since starting Viviscal is this sort of part of my hair here. So where I have an undercut, this sort of part here. So the shaved areas and just possibly in my hairline towards the sides here is ever so slight sort of breakouts. So sort of small sort of sort of blemishes um, under the skin but quite sore quite sort of tender to touch when you're washing your hair um, and that never happened before using Viviscal of course that could be natural it could be one of many things it might not have nothing to do with Viviscal at all but because it happened within the four to five, five week time um, and I'm reviewing this on the one month stage today I want to be honest and tell you that that was a negative for me and you know what sometimes I actually I had a, I had like a couple of horrible sort of quite painful sore sort of blemishes come up within amongst my hair here um, and actually some up in my hairline just up behind my hairline here and um, never had that before so with that I thought let's carry on with it and it's gone now and it's not a problem and it seems to have passed um, so not 100% sure what that is it could just be possibly something possibly too much good
you never know. Um, but certainly I'm happy I'm using Viviscal. It is very, it's a very good product. I'm happy with it. Um, and it's certainly something which I will continue to use. And I plan to review at the three month mark, um, where hopefully we will see the areas which I'm not so happy with in the density will have improved. Um, you may think, have I seen any small hairs in my hairline? No. And I'm going to say no, because when you're naturally seeing your hair grow, Anyway, you see small hairs growing through in your hairline. So I have got a, a small few sort of prickly small hairs across here in my hairline and amongst my hair. I'm not going to put it down to Viviscal because, of course, hair grows all the time in all different cycles. So I'm not going to sort of pinpoint that to Viviscal. It might well be helping. But for the now, I've not seen enough evidence to tell you that it's growing small hairs through on my hairline. Um, but hopefully at the three month mark, we will see that. So let's just uh, conclude on the good point. So I am seeing less hair when I am washing my hair, when I'm styling my hair. And sometimes by as much as around 50% less of what I was seeing. It was really, really shocking me. And that's really starting to calm down now. And I hope that is down to Viviscal. Um, I've used Viviscal before for around a seven month mark and I've seen great benefits from it. And I believe I'm starting on a good course and I am seeing those benefits as well. So really, really very happy with that. The only down mark on that is of those sort of skin sort of issues, bit of problematic skin sort of in these areas here um, and I would probably say that was Viviscal because before that I never had those problems at all and I always use a lot of hairsprays a lot of waxes and products and I never had that problem at all it was only around when I used the Viviscal so just bear that in mind but so far so good of course not a lot of change but change where I'm seeing a slight reduction in my hair um, in the amount of hairs which I see sometimes as much as 50% loss I would say a reduction in how much I'm seeing uh, myself lose when I wash and style my hair and of course just that sort of niggly issue of that throughout my sort of where the, the hair is shaved here just that sort of area here now you may think in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic how my hair how am I keeping my hair short because if you've seen my channel my recent clips I'm doing that myself um, with clippers and sort of sh uh, hair cutting shears as well and the help of my amazing mum um, so yeah, interested if I can cut hair? Have a look at my channel, I have to admit. Um, but for now on the Viviscal, what I will just do here across the bottom is you'll see that there are four stages which Viviscal aims to work out our hair. Number one being nurturing and really, really boosting the health of those follicles, getting that uh, those complex ingredients, really firing them into the follicles and the scalp health, improving overall scalp health. Then in stage two, three and four, you'll see more effects in sort of the thin downy hairs which you may have gradually getting that thicker, gradually getting that scalp more healthier. And you'll see that as I'm talking across the bottom here now. And it's really, really interesting as well. I get a lot of my information directly from the Viviscal website. It's worth a look. And if you're thinking of buying it, I absolutely push you to have a look and purchase from the website because I made the mistake and when I bought it and when I actually looked on the website I got it a little bit cheaper so have a look at that remember I'm not represented by this company at all it's my own personal opinion okay so hope you've enjoyed my one month I can't quite believe it's been one month but one month and Absolutely. I'm really, really pleased with starting to see a reduction in the amount of hairs I'm seeing when I wash my hair. And hopefully I can look forward to thicker areas in the frontal part of my hair um, real soon. OK, so give it a try yourself. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Um, leave them down. down. I get a lot of comments and things. Um, fire away and I will do my best to answer. Um, but yeah, absolutely. If you like what we're talking about today, I do a lot of hair reviews for uh, products and uh, different styling products and different, all different things, health wise, different conversations about sort of uh, worry, sort of work and um, all sorts of things in relation to studying one thing or another around this pandemic of the virus at the moment as well. Um, so yeah, absolutely. If you like what we're talking about, absolutely subscribe and until next time i really hope you've enjoyed it stay safe and we will see you then bye bye now